Why do speakers sound better louder? This question comes from Julio in San German. San German? Hmm, I don't know. In Puerto Rico. Hello. I have a pair of Mordant Short Mezzo 8s floor standers. Wow, I haven't heard the words Mordant Short in years. Used to be uh, just totally good speakers. Anyway, um, they sound meh at low volumes, but when you exceed some volume level, they start to come alive in a whole different speaker. Is it something that I have, it, it is something that I have read happens with some speakers, and I would appreciate it if you have a logical explanation for it. Well, I don't know how logical it's going to be, but I'll give you my best shot. Every track has a perfect volume level, and it's different in every room, depending on how many people are in the room. I'll give you a good example. When we go to a trade show, like we have the Rocky Mountain show that we just we finished up with a little while ago, if the room has two people in it, we're going to play a track at a specific volume level that we know sounds good because it makes the instruments and the people uh, singing an appropriate image size, and it sounds as if maybe someone were actually in the room. If we have more people come in the room, that level has to go up because they're absorbing more of the sound, and we're very critical about that. If, if I play these magnificent speakers at too low of a volume level, they sound meh. It's, you know, background music, right? That, that, that's, that's what I would call it. It sounds okay but it doesn't come alive until I turn them up to a level that makes sense for the music. And it's pretty easy to demonstrate. Um, there's a couple of things going on. There's the Fletcher Munson curve, which says that if your speakers are below a certain level, if your music is played below a certain level, the bass and the treble roll off and, and just it's, it sounds like there isn't any bass and there isn't any treble, which is what the classic loudness control that we've talked about before is all about, right? When you click a loudness control on a receiver, it tilts up the bottom and the top frequencies to compensate for the Fletcher Munson curve, which uh, accounts for the way the ear interprets sound at different levels. Here's study after study have been done about proper live levels that um, suggest not only the, the frequency and the amplitude falling off at various frequencies, but exciting the room, which is part of it. We don't really excite the room unless the, the uh, level is high enough. All kinds of reasons, but you're, you're not wrong. Uh, you're absolutely right. And crank those puppies up. And, and if, if, you it's, if you have a singer or an instrumental playing and if the singer gets, you know, because all the sound's coming from back here, right? If the singer gets to be too big, it's too loud. Or they're just like this, you know, right? And it'll come out of the speaker. But on a proper recording, you get it so that the person is the right size and the right height, too little volume and they kind of shrink in image, too big and they get way too big. And again, it depends on who's in the room, what's going on. So, Hope that helps. Uh, any questions like this, call us, 800-PS-AUDIO. Talk to a hi-fi specialist. And again, you know, talk about our stuff. Call up and talk about anything you want. And come visit us. We're always here. Okay, thanks. I will, ooh, next door there. Can you hear that? Boom, boom, boom. They're, they're getting going. Okay. <laughs> That's our listening room next door. We've got pretty nice little showrooms here, so come on by. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. And thanks for being part of our Hi-Fi family.